Hey guys, we're gonna be doing an extremely brutal lip product declutter today. I have just way too many lip products and many of them are far too old to be holding on to. So just to give you a preview of what we're gonna be going over, this may be a long video, hopefully not too long, uh, but this is one drawer. This is another drawer. This is yet another drawer. And then I have this drawer of some lip glosses from Pat McGrath, some Bobbi Brown. And then I have this organizer up here. I don't know why it's, <laughs> I don't know why it's here with my highlighters and blushes and things. And I actually went over this uh, when I was like cleaning up a little bit during Mishmas, I went through this, but I think I may, well, we'll see. I may go through this again. All right, I am gonna start with these uh, Tom Ford. These are all, unfortunately, really, really old, and I've been holding on to a lot of them for collector purposes. Um, like, I really love uh, some of the packaging, but I, I really think I just need to let, let some of these go. So, uh, let's see. These smaller ones I know are very, very old, um, especially the ones in the darker packaging. This one is Connor. Yeah, this is starting to smell bad, so I'm gonna declutter that. Um, and then I have these white ones. Okay, so this one is one of the lip balms. This one is not as old as the others. This one is Bay d'Hiver, so this one, I'm going to keep, this one is a color in the shade Whitney. So many of these are discontinued too. Ooh, that smells kind of funky. Okay, I declutter that. Um, this one is Carrie. Mm, that smells awful. Sorry, Corrine, Corrine, not Carrie, Corrine. Or Corinne, excuse me. And then this one is Paradiso. This is another balm. Let's see how this one smells. That one actually smells okay. It actually doesn't smell like anything, which is good. Okay. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And then let's do we have Alistair. That one smells very play doh so I'm going to declare that. This one is Gala. This one is Gala. Let's see. Mm, that one smells play doh too. Sometimes when you smell the lipstick just in the bullet, it smells fine, like all you smell is the fragrance, which is usually like a vanilla or something. But I've noticed that when I actually like use it, spread it out, swatch it, put it on my lips, that's when I can really tell whether or not it smells Play-Doh-y. So that's why I'm swatching all of these and not just uh, sniffing them. Um, this one is Reflection. This one is a balm. That one smells fine. These balms are a little bit newer, so that makes sense. And then here's Apres Soleil, which was my favorite one of the balms. Oh, that one actually smells kind of funky. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it smells funky. It also looks a little, it looks a little weird. It looks like it's 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 a balm, but it looks kind of like dried out. So I'm gonna declutter that one. And I actually have a backup of it. Yeah, this is a backup of the Apres Soleil. So let's see if this one is still good. Yeah, that one actually smells okay. All right, so I'm gonna hold on to this. Oh, and I've got two little ones over here. Let's see, this one is Amber. Mm, that smells Play-Doh-y. That one's a goner. Yeah, these are pretty old. This one is Monica. That smells a little Play-Doh-y too. Okay, well, I'm glad I'm going through these. Okay, and then I've got Wow, I don't even remember what kind these are. This is, I think this one is fairly new. This is an Ultra Shine lip color in Exuberant. Yep, that one is fine. Hold on to that. And then this one is another Ultra Shine lip color in Delectable. That one smells fine too. Now I've got a couple lip colors I got rid of so many because they were all bad. I think, are these the only two like regular ones left? All the rest are basically like limited edition packaging. Um, so these are on the newer side, but they're still fairly old. This one is Sugar Glider. Ooh, that one smells bad, okay. And then 
Devore. Oh, I love these colors. Oh, that one smells bad too. Wow, okay. All right, so I'm left with all of these like limited edition packaging ones. Like I love these that have like the little ribbing in there. You know, do I keep them just for the packaging? I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep these three. These two, this is the Lost Cherry and the Effing Fabulous. I'll keep those three and this two, and then let me go through these. So this is the Lip Blush. Oh, these are fairly new. Well, newer. This one is the really cool kind of like color changing one. Yeah, that one doesn't have a smell. I really like that one. And then this one is the Balm Frost, which I really love too. It's so cool. So, so cool. Yeah, that one smells fine too. I think I just broke it. My bad. All right. And then I have these Lip Sparks. And then this is the Lavender Extreme. This one I got just because it looked <laughs> really kind of crazy and fun, but this is definitely not a color I use often. And it's definitely on the older side. So I'm gonna declutter that. Um, these lip sparks are on the older side as well. This one is number two Surge. Really cool. That one actually smells fine. Okay, I'll hold on to that. And then this one is number three Thrust. There is Thrust. Okay, that one smells fine too. So that's all the Tom Ford that I have. Let's move over to these Cure Weiss lipsticks. So this one is Sincere. And the Cure Weiss lipstick formula is very interesting. It, it tugs a bit when you apply it, but I feel like it melts down onto your lips fairly quickly. So it's not like it's, it feels dry on the lips. I just feel like they're a little bit hard to get on. But once you get them on, like they really like settle down nicely. But because Cure Weiss is an organic brand, I feel like this lipstick has gone bad already. These are not that old. Hold on, let me smell these. Yeah, I think this one is fine. Hold on. This one is okay. This one smelled funky. These are refillable, so I'm gonna take this refill out, keep the case, and then I've got, oh, I've got another empty case. Wait a second. I thought I had a different color. Well, maybe that'll pop up, but I feel like I had a red color from Cure Weiss. All right, well, now I have two empty cases here. And then next I've got a whole bunch of NARS. And none of these are especially old. I don't expect them to be old. So I'm just going to be going through these for whether or not I'm going to be using them. So that is um, Jeanette. This one is Leia. This one is Augustine. And this one is Claudette. I would like to keep Augustine. This was my favorite out of the collection. And I really like all of these colors, but I'm going to declutter. I just have too many lipsticks and I need to be I need to be brutal. Okay, and then I have these Afterglow lip balms. So I have Orgasm, Laguna, and Unrestricted. Is that what this is? Unrestricted. Well, this is actually a soft matte tinted lip balm, and these are the Afterglow lip balms. So I'm going to declutter Orgasm. I'm gonna keep Laguna. This one is my favorite. It has like a nice nudie kind of tint to it. So I'm gonna hold on to that, and I'm going to declutter this as well. And then these I got on a trip to New York. Well, I haven't been to New York in two years, so these are two and a half years old. Let's see, that smells a little funky, so I'm gonna declutter that. That one was cruising, that was this shade right here. It smells weird. And then this one is sexual healing. That one actually smells okay, and that's, sexual healing here. And then this is Chelsea Girls. Oops, mm, that smells funky. Okay, so I will keep sexual healing. Okay, next, oh, we've got a little NARS. This is, oh, Dolce Vita. No, I'm gonna declutter that. Uh, I'm gonna keep all of my Victoria Beckham. These are fairly new. 
Do two fit in one? No. Um, the Glossier. Oh, I really, really like these. I really liked Lucite. These are their Ultra Lips. Super, super duper soft. Really, re well, <laughs> maybe they're getting too old. I was going to say, these went on like a dream, but this seems to be tugging, tugging a little bit. That one is Lucite. This one is Villa. A little deeper. And then this one is Trench. I think I'm going to just keep Lucite. This is the one I use the most. Declutter those. And then I have this Ilia lip balm in Forever. I'm gonna declutter that. And then I've got all my Gucci lipsticks here. I don't think I'm gonna be decluttering any of like the satin shades that I have. So this one is Tasty Hazel. This one is Cimarron. I have all these like cool tone nudes, just love them. Uh, this one is A Royal Scandal. Here is The Painted Veil. And then we've got um, Susan Nude. Agatha Orange, not a nude, but one of my favorites. And then this one is Janet Rust. This is actually one of the mattes, which I don't mind. Their mats are not that bad. Oh, here's another satin. This one is Mildred Rosewood. I know all of these are still good because I still use them <laughs> fairly often. Let me move this up here. And then I've got a couple of the Voile, like the sheer lipstick. So here's Agatha Orange in that formula, that finish. And then here is um, Hold Your Man, which is like a nude sheer so love both of those and then i've got the no more orchids balm love that color so i'm gonna hold on to that and then i did get two of their gothic formula lipsticks this one is lynn silver such a cool color but i never wear it so i'm going to declutter that and then this one is my forbidden past another really cool color but i never i never wear it uh so i'm going to declutter that and then here are the gucci the brilliant uh lipsticks so this one is lynette stone really love that and love this formula too this one is sally soft honey and this one is Peggy Taupe. I'm gonna keep Peggy Taupe. I'm gonna actually get rid of this salty soft honey. Yeah, it's just kind of a mid-tone pink. I always reach for these and never this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. Um, and then, let's see, I've got some Clay de Poe, some Laura Mercier. So Laura Mercier, um, what are these called? Because I know they used to be like the silky cream lipstick. Oh yeah, Rouge Essential, silky cream lipstick. Okay, I guess they didn't change the name. So this one is in shade Rouge Electric. I really, really enjoy that. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And this one is Beige Intime, Beige Intime. That's a really beautiful beige. So I'll hold on to both of these. These are relatively new. They sent these to me. Um, so I'll hold on to these two. Put these here. And then Clay de Poe. Number one bamboo is one of my all-time favorite nude colors. It's like perfectly cool toned, but this is old. It's old. I think it smells a little funky. So I'm going to declutter that. I have to replace that. This is 103 Legend. Such a beautiful red, and there's actually a little bit of sparkle in there. Um, and then this one is number eight, Red Lantern, which is a deeper, warmer red. So I think I'll hold on to these two. Actually, let me check if this one... Oh yeah, that one still smells okay. And then this one is relatively new. So I'll hold on to those two. And then I have all of these Persona E-Balms. 
I just never, ever use them. I never reach for them. I never think of them. They're really beautiful colors, though. Like, look how nice these are. But I just have too much. I have too much. So I'm going to ooh, declutter these. Yeah, I swatched all these. Okay, I'm gonna do, whoa, I'm gonna declutter those. Let's see, Bobby Brown. This is one of those, um, like, I think these are the crushed, but I can't remember what these are called. Jelly something? Anyway, these are really cool. I'm gonna hold on to this one. Let's see, I've got one of the Bobby Brown Lux lipsticks. This was the limited edition collaboration with Veronica Beard. I love this color so much, but I don't think you can get it anymore. But look at that. It's like one swipe. It is so intense. The Bobbi Brown Lip uh, Lux lipsticks are really, really nice and very, very underrated. So I'm gonna hold on to this. This one was Sunset Orange. Actually, it smells a little funky. Oh, darn it, okay. I'm gonna declutter that. And then I have a bunch of these Bobbi Brown uh, like extra lip tints. I'm only gonna hold on to a few because they change color and I feel like they change to a color that is um, like fairly similar. They're all a little bit different, but, but fairly similar at the same time. So Bare Pink Sparkle. I'm gonna hold on to Bare Pink Sparkle. I think that one's really pretty. And what do we have? Bare Punch. Oh, I have two Bare Pink Sparkles. Hold on, maybe one. Oh, this one is unused. I'm gonna give that one away. This one I'm gonna hold on to, that one's used. And then this one is just plain old bare pink, which I've used. And then we've got bare raspberry and bare blackberry. I used all of these, I believe. Actually, this one looks new. Oh no, it's not, it's swatched. Okay, I'm going to get rid of those. And I'm so excited I have an unused <laughs> lipstick to give away. My Wayne Goss lipsticks. I don't think any of these are going anywhere. I love all of these nude, pinky nude, peachy, pinky shades. Um, so I'm gonna hold on to all of these. Let me just move all of these up. Ooh, they fit right in a row there. Oh, how nice. These two NARS lipsticks I love so much, but they're limited edition and they're gone. And I think I just need to let them go. Moon Orchid and Voodoo Lily. These were like sheer lipsticks. Look how pretty this is. It's like a pretty lilac. Oops, wow. What a way to say goodbye. Okay. <laughs> and then this one is Voodoo Lily. Oh, I love this color too. It's like a really light, light, light grayish purple. Ah. And then I've got some Dior back here. I've got the Rouge Dior Ultra Rouge in Ultra Wild. That is Ultra Wild. I am not the biggest fan of the way Dior lipsticks smell, but I really like um, their formulas. Like they feel really nice. Um, and this one is Ultra Cute. Ultra cute? Why don't I remember that? Here is ultra cute. I think I'll pass this one along. I don't think that's a color I'll wear. Are these refillable? No. And then I've got one of their lip glows. Um, these I really enjoy. These feel great on the lips and this light pink is so pretty. So I'll hold on to this. And wow, wow. I think I got rid of more than I kept. Is that possible? at least from this side. Amazing. Okay, let's move over to this side. So I've got a bunch of uh, Chantecaille right at the front here. And, you know, I'm gonna get rid of these two. I just don't reach for them. I always reach for the lip veils or the lip sheiks. And these are the old lip sheiks. So this one is Sorry Rose. And these are really, really old. So that one was Sorry Rose. Get rid of that. And this one was Ceylon. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these too. And I would like to keep all of these, um, but let's just check to make sure they smell good. So this is a lip veil in Baobab. Yep, that smells fine. Here is Honey Pot. That one smells fine. 
And then I'm assuming all of these will smell fine because these are newer than these two. So I'll do a quick sniff test for all of these. All right, I'm leaving this one open because I'm missing, um, I think it's tamarind? No, this is tamarind. There's a color I'm missing. Oh my gosh, my brain. It's like my favorite shade too. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, that one uh, goes in here. These four, I really enjoy these, but I just, I just never reach for these. These are those like balmy lip colors. They're so, so comfortable and so, I mean, they're so balmy. And it's just like a really nice, pretty tint. I'm just gonna hold on to Beach Rose. This is the one that I liked the most. So I'll hold on to that one. I'll pass these along. Whew, all my Charlotte Tilburys. Wow, okay. So, a lot of these, I think I got rid of a lot of the really old, old, old Charlotte Tilburys that I had from like way back in the day. Okay, sorry, my <laughs> battery died. So I think the camera angle is a little bit different, but anyway. Um, Charlotte Tilbury, I think I was going on and on about how these are all relatively new because I had gone through a declutter and gotten rid of like a lot of the old ones, the ones I had purchased when I was first getting into makeup. So I think all of these are pretty good. I think I just need to go through and see if I like all of these colors. So let me do that quickly. Okay, so I am gonna get rid of these two, um, Enchanting Kiss and, which one is this one? This one is Happy Coral. I kept the two that I like more. And then Walk of No Shame, it is the Matte Revolution formula and while I really enjoy the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution formula, I just don't reach for matte. Uh, lipsticks that much so that color I never really reach for this uh, Karina's kiss coral kiss um, I never reach for and then this I even forgot I had so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that and then I have this um, forget all these names and this is too small pillow talk I can't remember but it was like super glittery lipstick Super metallic, super glittery, and I really liked it. So I'm gonna keep this. And then, um, oh, I got rid of a refill. Where did that go? Oh, here, this color. I can't remember. This one is Red Hot Susan. And yeah, one I forgot I even had. So I'm gonna pass that one along. And then I have my three Serge Luten uh, lipsticks. I love those, I'm gonna keep those. I'm gonna keep all of my Sisley lipsticks. I just used some of these older ones and they're still good, so I'm gonna keep those. Let's look at these Natasha Denona lipsticks because I love this formula, but um, I think a lot of these shades are very, very similar. Yeah, this one I'm going to pass along. This one is very, kind of warm toned and I like the cooler ones more. Hmm. Uh, okay, so I've got these five. I think I'll keep these five. They're all a little bit different. These two are actually very, very close. Let's see. This one's a little bit deeper. This one is Sammy and this one is Noah. I really like these. There's Sammy. There's Noah. And then this one is Michelle. That's a little pinkier. And then this one is Andrea. This one I'll pass along because it's very, very close to Michelle. And this is like limited edition packaging, I believe. So I'll pass that along. And then this one, 
is the most mauvey of them all. So I'll keep this one. Okay, so I will keep these four. All right, and then I have this Kosas Vegas color, which I really, really love. It's such a great nude. So I'll hold on to this. And then this was a gift from a subscriber. Look how pretty this color is. This is called Nude Noir. It has a little bit of sheen to it. I can't remember this brand name. It is, oh, Julie Hewitt. Julie Hewitt, Nude Noir. That's very pretty. And then I have a bunch of YSL lip colors. So these are Rouge Volup Shine. Rouge. What is this? This is Rouge Volup Shine. I think these are all. Are these all shines? I believe these are all shines. And then what are these? The candy ones, I think. Oh no, Volup Tint in Balm. And then this is a Volup Sheer Candy. Okay. Some of these I've had for a really long time. This one I've had for a really long time. That one's smelling a little old. I'm gonna pass that one along. And then, wait a second. This one still smells good. These have a very fruity, fruity scent. So this one is 121. This one is 22. This one smells okay. This one is 123. This one is 123. Smells okay. This is number nine. I'm gonna pass this one on. This is number nine. I don't ever wear this color. And then here is number 12. This is number 12. Actually, let me compare this one. Let me compare this one to this one, number eight. I think I like this one better. It's more orangey than this one. Yeah, so I'm gonna hold on to this one, pass this one along. And then this is number one. This I feel like I've had a long time. That's this color. That actually still smells okay. Um, all right, well, I guess I'll hold on to all of these. And then, oh, I've been holding on to these Urban Decay Basquiat. I need to just let it go, Michelle, let it go. This also, Mac Charlotte Olympia. This is so supremely old, but I just love the packaging, but I'm gonna let it go. Um, Edward Bess, I love these lipsticks, but I feel like I don't know what's going on with his makeup line. I don't know if it's um, being discontinued or what, so I'm gonna pass that along. And then I've got uh, this De Corte, like tinted lip balm that I love. I'm gonna hold on to that. And then I have this Cogendo Beige 403. I have so many of that. Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pass this along. Um, and then all of my Chanel's, which I don't think it, I don't think they're going anywhere. None of them are terribly old. I'm trying to think. All of the Rouge Coco flashes are relatively new, and I use those quite often. I'm gonna hold on to all of my Chanel. That's all of these back here, so that's good. And then I've got two of the Westman Atelier lip suede's. I have the Le Nude, and I have the original one that came out. Oh, and I have the holiday one. That's actually. Um, out in my office, but anyway, I'm keeping all of that. Um, so let's move on to the next drawer. Okay, here we go. So BK Beauty, these are all new. I'm gonna hold on to these. Um, Fenty Beauty glosses. What, do I have two of these? Sweet Mouth and Baby Brute. I'll hold on to Baby Brute, I'll pass this along. I'm gonna pass along the original gloss bomb because this is just hella old. And then, oof, I like all these. Cake Shake, I like. Um, taffy Teas, I like. Hot Chocolate, I really like. So hold on to these. I'm going to pass this along. Had that for a while. Um, oof, I love these, but these are definitely getting on. Let's see how these are doing. Oh, 
That still smells okay. I'm actually surprised. And these are all around, this is the oldest. They're all around the same age. So I'll hold on to those. Um, juicy tubes I've had, I think, since last holiday season. So I'll just hold on to these. Um, hold on to this. Ooh, NARS. Um, these I think I purchased maybe within the last two or three years. I'll hold on to those. I really like those two. These three, oops, I like them, but I'm, I'm going to pass those along. And wow, this is kind of the same. What is this? This is called At First Sight. And this one is Broken Glass. These are all newer. Yeah, these are all newer. So I'm going to pass that along. Keep these. Um, Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Bath. I'm actually not the biggest fan of these. They're okay. They're okay. But I feel like my time with them has come to an end. Yeah, they have that like kind of peppermint thing to them. So yeah, I'm going to pass that along. I never wear this. This one has my name engraved, but I never ever wear this. So I'm going to pass that along. Oh, my Tower 28 lip glosses. Now, I love all of these. However, I noticed that a few that I had had gone off. So I am going to test all of these. Yeah, this one has gone off. This one has gone off. This one has gone off. That's gone off. These two are okay. All the other ones have gone off. More of the Victoria Beckham Posh lipsticks. I should probably move these down to here. up here. Shantikai lip crayons I'm going to hold on to. This one actually I'm going to let go. This lip sleek. I think they discontinued these and this one's pretty old. Um, Suku comfort lip fluid fog I'm going to hold on to. All of my Lisa Eldridge gloss embrace lip glosses I'm going to hold on to. This Burberry gloss that I never even got to try I'm going to hold on to. This is in the shade Coral Rose. Let's see. Oh, pretty. Yep. We'll have to try that out in a future video. These are those new Diorific Dior lipsticks that I just got over holiday. So I'm going to hold on to all of these. Um, rosy Glow. I never used this. These Charlotte Tilbury's. This one is Pillow Talk. This one is Walk of No Shame. Yeah, I just, I never use these. I'm going to pass these along. Viseart lip glosses I love. I'm going to hold on to those. I'm going to pass this along. I'm going to pass Persona along. I do love this, but I have not used it in a while. Um, I don't like lip plumpers. I'm going to pass that along. I'm going to pass this along because I feel like I have this in the NARS. It's kind of like the same feeling. These, I believe, were part of the Birds of a Feather collection. I'm going to pass these along, though. These are the Ultra Care liquids. Well, actually, <laughs> let's see. Oh, yeah, these were kind of like a matte, a matte lip. Yeah, I'm going to pass these along. This is Ultimate. Oh, I think I have two of these. I'm going to give this to my mom. Let me just pull that one out. Um, I'm going to pass this along. Um, Cure Weiss. I am going to keep. These are relatively new. This Lila B lip gloss I'm going to pass along. Um, these Nava lip glosses I'm going to pass along. Um, Ilia. 
These were nice. Let's see. I'm gonna pass these along. Oh my god, I just have so many lip products. Holy smokes, there's more back here. This Lila B I'm gonna pass along. Um, this uh, Say lip gloss, I feel like I just got, so I'm gonna keep that. Another Cure Weiss. Uh, M Cosmetics and Sisley. I'm gonna keep Sisley. I'm definitely going to keep this M Cosmetics um, lip cushion. I like this formula. It's very comfortable. Um, and I like these um, lip glosses too. I'm going to hold on to those. And, oh, I have this Ritual Defee. Um, it's like a lip crayon. It was very dry. I'm going to pass this along. I didn't really like it. And then these are the Cure Weiss, um, like their matte lip colors. These were really interesting, interesting formula that I enjoyed. So I'm gonna hold on to these. I've got some Trini London lip products that I'm gonna hold on to. I have to get serious about these Surat lip products because as much as I love them, they're very old, very, very old. So, Oh God, this hurts me. This really hurts me because I love all of these, but these are old. So I'm going to get rid of, I know these for a fact are super old. Um, wait, which one is this? Coquette. That's old. And this one. I'm going to get rid of these five. Oof. These five, and hold on to these. These I've had for a much shorter period of time. I'm gonna get rid of this 1999. I'm gonna hold on to that Chanel crayon. I am gonna hold on to these Sisley crayons, the Dior crayons, and then all of these lip slicks from Surat. Oh God, I love these. I am gonna keep Heaven because Surat actually sent that to me, and I know that was more recent than a lot of these. All of these other ones, I believe, I pretty much purchased before I moved to Vegas. So that is way, way too old. Let me just look. Bandy, Ladybug. Ugh, oh, club set. I love these. But I think I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to have to repurchase them. These are just way too old, right? Like five, six years old. Yeah. I'm gonna pass those along. No, I'm not passing those along. Every time I say pass along, I mean throw away when it comes to lip products because that's gross. Um, yeah, have been on keeping. Okay, and then all of these uh, prismatic lips. Oh, I love these too. These are so beautiful. This like Lame. Oh God, I'm gonna have to repurchase all these. Oh, and Payettes. Oh my God, I love this. Love, love, love. Oops, love, love, love. Look at this pink. Mm. It's like a highlighter for your lips. But yeah, I think a lot of these I purchased before I moved here. So yeah, just too old. Too old, Michelle. Um, M Cosmetics lip cushion I'm going to hold on to. I'm going to hold on to all of the Wayne Goss lip glosses. Those are relatively new. Um, Oh, this is, God. Yeah, I have another one of these. Let me pull these two out. <laughs> Whew. Uh, another M Cosmetics. Can't remember what she calls these. They're not just lip glosses. Anyway, I like these. I'm going to hold on to those. Uh, the Sisley lip glosses. I'm going to hold on to. Those are relatively new. Um, oh, this Burberry lip color contour. I know I purchased this on a trip to New York. So this I purchased while I was in Vegas. I do really like that. Mm, it smells a little, mm, a little Play-Doh-y. Let me just get rid of it. Um, this I just purchased. I'm going to hold on to this. Oh, I see a NARS hiding here. Oh, not NARS, Aether Beauty. Aether Beauty 
Um, I just tried this, so I'm gonna hold on to this. Okay, I think that's it for this drawer. It's a mess, so I can't even tell if I got rid of a lot, but I feel like I did. All of that Surratt, oh my God, it's breaking my heart, breaking my heart, but it, it's just, it's too old. Okay, moving on, moving on. All right, the next drawer. Holy smokes, this is a mess, okay. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> The Armani Lip Power, these are not going anywhere, as you guys, as you guys know. Uh, these by Terry lip products, these are the ones that just came out. They're really beautiful, but they're so heavily fragranced. Yeah, that I, it just, it turns me off. So I'm going to declutter these. Dior, this one is Rouge Dior 241. Oh, that's pretty. I bought this as part of, I think, the Golden Lights collection or something. I'm going to go to that. And then... I have all of these. Let's see. Oh, this is part of their current collection, their current holiday collection. This one's new. Oh, okay. I'm going to put that aside. That one is new too. Put that aside. And then, that's new, okay. I'm gonna put all these aside. Okay. Keeping all my Wayne Goss, and wow, I'm looking at all these Pat McGraths. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. So this one is Nude Astral. There we go. Nude Astral. I love this one. I'm going to hold on to this. Hold on to that. This one is Blow Up. This was probably one of my favorites from this collection. That smells okay. And then let's see. Pink Astral. Yep, it still smells okay. Bronze Astral. It smells okay. Um, full Fantasy. I'm gonna pass that along. I forgot I even had that one. Gold Astral. That one smells okay. Let's see. Flesh One. I'm going to pass that along. And then, whoops. And this one is Passion Flower. I'm going to pass that along. And I've got these two. This one is Flesh Fatale, Bliss Trance. I'm gonna pass this along. And we've got Nude Romantic. I'm gonna pass that along too. I, I don't foresee myself wearing this color <laughs> in the near future. Um, and then, We've got some of these pink ones here. I am going to pass that along. I am going to hold on to this if it smells good. Let's see. Yeah, this one smells okay. And then Amethyst Astral. Oh, this was cool. Yeah, I'll hold on to this one. This one seems... Very unique. Okay, let's see. We've got Chantecaille that I'm going to hold on to. Wayne Goss, I'm holding on to. Louboutin, I'm holding on to. Bond number nine. Oh, Charlotte Tilbury up here. Which one is this? Uh, Runway Royalty. Ooh, yeah. I love that nudes collection she came out with recently. Love that. I think these three are part of that whole... Oh, these, these four? Hold on. <laughs> Supermodel, Cover Star... 
runway royalty and catwalking yeah these were all part of that um, nude collection so I'm gonna hold on to that um, boy. all the Lisa Eldridge I'm gonna hold on to another Victoria Beckham I'm gonna hold on to these are the relatively new Bobby Brown ones I'm gonna hold on to let's go through these Pat McGrath yeah, I'm going to declutter all of the matte trance. They're just way too old. So this one, I think I kind of decluttered a bunch already. Let me just make sure. Divine Rose, matte trance. So I'm getting rid of these six matte trance lipsticks. This Divine Rose Matte Trance, I'm going to hold on to because this one is relatively new. So I'm going to hold on to that one. This is the Lust Angeles Lux Trance that you can't get anymore. I, well, you can't get any of these Lux Trance anymore, but this was like a limited edition color and I love it. So I'm going to hold on to that one. And let's see, Lavish Sextrology. Oh, that's a nice nude. I think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter all of these. Can't get the Lux Trance anymore. And I just, I'm not inclined to use them. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, holding on to all of these, Shantikai. All of these Byredos are uh, newish. Carolina Herrera is newish. Um, Guerlain is newish. Let's move down over here. Oh, some of my limited edition uh, Pat McGrath. I'm gonna hold on to all of those. Oh, this is the um, Sunlit Rose Lip Balm from Tom Ford. This just came out. I love this. So I'm going to hold on to this. I'm going to obviously have to rearrange everything um, with that other drawer. Let's see. Number nine. Oh, the Givenchy. These were like the sheer velvets. These were really nice. Love that. So I'm going to hold on to that. And that's relatively new. Some more Pat McGrath. Oh, Madame Grige, such a good color. Oops, such a good color. I'm gonna hold on to that. <laughs> oh, let's see. A couple more down here. Uh, Divine Brown and Flesh Three. I'm just gonna pass them along. Sisley, I'm gonna keep. Chanel, I'll keep these for a while. I didn't really like the shades that I got, but I will hold on to them for a while. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna pull these out and ask my mom and my aunts <laughs> if they want that. Even more Pat McGrath, okay. Let's see, She's Heaven, Donatella, Realness, and Attitude. I think I really liked Donatella. Okay, I'll hold on to Donatella. I'm gonna pass these other ones along. Byredo. Oh, Valentino. This was okay. I hate this packaging so much, but I'll hold on to it for a little bit longer. Um, House of Siage refills, Jimmy Choo, uh, La Bouche Rouge, Hermes. I'm keeping all of those. This Rouge palette I just purchased, I really like. So I'm gonna hold on to this. More Bobbi Brown, Bare Nude. I am going to declutter that. And then I think the rest I'm going to keep. Yeah, these are all Hermes. There's some back here. Hermes, Hermes, La Bouche Rouge. Here's a better angle to see all the stuff that's back there. This Givenchy, I forgot I had. Oh, I love that. But I'm going to declutter. Let's see, have I even used this yet? Oh, awesome. I can pass that one along. Bobby Brown Nourishing Lip Color in Gold. Oh, this was a limited edition color, which I really liked, but I'm gonna pass it along because I can't really use it. It's not available anymore. And I think that's it for this drawer. Everything else is like stuff that I would keep. Okay, so on to the final drawer, which is basically just Pat McGrath uh, lip glosses. I have these Bobby Brown uh, matte lip colors, but I'm Lux Defining Lipsticks, sorry. That was totally the wrong name, um, but I'm going to hold on to those because they're relatively new, but I am going to be savage. I'm going to get rid of the old ones and only keep the ones that I really, really enjoy. So I'm 
Okay, guys, I told you I'm gonna be brutal. I'm getting rid of all of these and I'm keeping these four. These are the only four that I've been using lately, so. So that is all that's left in this drawer. So what I'm going to do now is kind of try and rearrange that one drawer where I have the actual organizers. This one down here and um, there were like some lipsticks in this drawer that could go down here and just kind of arrange things. So I'm going to speed this up but I'll leave the sound on because I know you guys like that little ASMR feel to it um, and try and fill this up as much as possible. Okay, I think, I think that's the best I can do. I still have to find this other Chantecaille lip veil. Um, and I just tried to keep, you know, the same brands together and fill this up as nicely as possible um, because <laughs> these are just a mess. When I throw lipsticks in here, it's like the black hole. So yeah, this is actually like lip gloss overflow or just lip gloss actually, I don't know. Why I said overflow. Those are like my lip glosses. This is lipstick overflow. And then, well, I guess I can this top drawer. This top drawer of stuff that I had. Let me just throw this into my lip glosses. And then this was. Yeah, I had other ones in here, so I'll stick those in here. And maybe this can go. Down there. Oh yeah, awesome. So my lip palettes over there, lip glosses, lip pencils, basically things that are kind of long. <laughs> and then I have more lipsticks here. Okay, and this drawer is empty. Oh wait, I have my BK Beauty up here. I think I can put these. Oh, I think these are actually a little too tall. Oh yeah, that's right. That's why I have these laying down. Let's put these back in here. And yeah. Okay. So these are all of the lip products I am getting rid of. I am actually very proud of myself. Although I have to say, sometimes you just don't have a choice when it comes to lip products because when they're bad, they're bad. And you're ugh, you're not you're not gonna use those. That's it. That is my Lip declutter. Whew, that was uh, that was very cathartic. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and please subscribe if you are enjoying these declutters. I um, I think I maybe have one more declutter I need to do, which is basically everything else I haven't done, but like liners and mascaras and all that kind of stuff. Um, so anyway, definitely subscribe if you're interested, and I will see you in my next video.